Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and I'm going to be teaching you about markers today. And no, not the kind of markers you've been sniffing in the closet when nobody's looking. Yeah, I know, and I'm thoroughly disappointed. But let's get on to the real markers, which are indicators that you can put in your comp or you can put them in your layers to tell you what is going on in that part of the composition. They're good for helping you remember where something is at a certain point of time, obviously. So the way that you can uh, indicate where uh, a mark something is in a, in a comp is move your uh, time indicator here to somewhere and you can dr click on this little upside down pentagon and click and drag to the left and if you hold shift it'll snap to the current time indicator and notice it says one you can either leave it like that or you can double click on it and it brings up the composition markers you can type in this comment panel here um, space girl and it opens up this uh, or it leaves the marker there with the name on it and this right here you can see it kind of might get annoying if you're just trying to f do uh, put down markers that are close together so I'm going to show you another way to do it and that is by um, adding markers to the layer so the way to get rid of this marker real quick is right click on it and delete this marker okay now if you click on your footage down here and you um, push the asterisk button on your keypad on the numpad over here on your right it'll bring up a marker at the position that your current time indicator is at and as you can see it put it on the layer instead of up here on the comp so if you double click on it again you can um, edit the properties here now we got girl licking herself now this video footage is from a, um, a it's a promo video for these guys these DJs that are trying to get their name out so that's how you how you do that there's another way that you can another option that you can use so I'll just move back over here and uh, this looks like a sign so hold down alt and then hit your asterisk key and it'll bring up the layer marker marker panel that way you don't have to double click on it so signage I wonder what this sign picture even is I can't even tell maybe it's a woman dancing you can right click on the markers here to get uh, another menu and it has the settings which is the same thing when you double click you can delete this marker delete all markers and lock your markers so that's another way to get to your uh, sections so I'm gonna click on the settings here and explain this a little bit this shows the time here at what your marker is at the duration obviously your comment where you can put that on there the chapter and web links here are good for you can type in here what the chapter might be and I'll just um, type this as showing the sign or actually I saw the sign it opened up my eyes but I'll stop singing now these are good for if you're exporting the uh, render out to something like Adobe Encore DVD these chapters and frame targets here are useful in there I'm not going to go over how it works because this is more for After Effects and this chapter and web links thing is more for Adobe Encore. The flash cue point down here is for Adobe Flash and basically what it does is 
Um, it's the, let's see, how do I explain this? The markers are embedded in the FLV movies when you render. And I think that's the best explanation. If it doesn't make sense to you because you don't use Flash, just keep it in the back of your mind. And at some point, you may want to learn how to use Flash for the web and stuff like that. So I'm just going to hit OK. And um, that's, that's pretty much all there is for markers. They're pretty useful. I use them all the time, especially when I'm dealing with uh, raw footage so that you can mark out where you're gonna where you're gonna cut and where the scenes cut so you can do different color corrections and things like that well thanks for listening to this uh, After Effects tutorial I hope you guys and girls found this uh, tutorial useful and can apply it to your, your uh, next project that you're gonna be working on and hopefully that project is awesome and makes you a lot of money well, see you guys later. I'm going to go try to find Carmen Sandiego.